What's going on, guys? It is Pwn bringing you guys some Modern Warfare 2. Shut up, Pwn! iPhone star for hire. You need to shut up over there. I just started my commentary. So anyways, um, I wanted to talk about something real quick before we cut into the whole montage topic. And, and I need to let you guys know, as you guys know, a couple days ago my headset broke and I still haven't even been able to, uh, I wasn't able to actually replace that one quite yet, which is kind of, you know, a little butt plug to me because I kind of need a headset to game on PC. And uh, it's it's been, you know, I'm really, really low on money right now. I, I had to get things for Amanda's birthday and everything like that. And now, of course, all, of all things, my PVR is messed up. So I'm unable to actually record any Call of Duty for you guys right now. And I don't have the money right now. Not until actually about this time next month will I be able to actually replace this PVR. So I'm going to call them on Monday. Hopefully they can find something. Maybe it's under warranty. I've had it for, what, maybe a couple years now, guys? Not sure. But I just wanted to let you guys know in case you guys do not see any Call of Duty for a little bit. That's what it is. It has nothing to do with me or anything like that. I don't like playing it on PC. I just don't like adjusting the sensitivities and stuff. I like console. It's where I am at. That's what I play Call of Duty on. I'll always stay at a console. And uh, so that's where I'm at right now. It's kind of a it's kind of a bummer. I mean, some days it works, other days it hasn't. The last four days I've tried gaming and I've lost quite a few gameplays because it just the gameplays freeze. So you know the little blue light stays on it and just no matter what I've done. Damn it, phone. Damn it. So. Things have just been downhill for me. It's been really, really stressful the last few days, and uh, I, I'm just not happy about that. I like having variety on my channel, and, and you know, if this all comes out, and it might not be till about the 15th or 18th of next month when I get paid, that's after the release of Modern Warfare 3, and I'm not happy about that. So, you know, let's just see how that turns out. But anyways, I'm going to cut into montage. There's something I want to talk to you guys about, because I wanted to give my opinion on it and see what you guys honestly felt about it. Because if you guys do not know, I've been working on two badass Battlefield 3 montages, with a couple of my buddies, and they've been setting these things up. They they're, they're looking beautiful. I've had a sneak peek of them, and I've been seeing the quality of uh, gameplay out there. And these the clips are pretty pretty damn impressive, especially for being all recorded in one day. Um, you guys should love them. I think the first one might even be up today or tomorrow, and then the second one will be up a couple days later. So you know, I wanted to put that out there, and I wanted to ask you guys what you guys thought about montages, honestly, because you know I've never been a big montage watcher for the reason being is because the things that I see. Unless it requires skill, it's not impressive to me. Now, I understand that montage clips and five-man quads and, you know, spaz sprees are all, uh, you know, I guess there is a little bit of skill involved in them, but a lot of it's luck. You know, just opportune timing, having them face you or not facing you, flanking. I mean, a lot of it is luck. And and I think there's there's things out there that are kind of just killing montages. You know, Call of Duty, I like seeing quick scoping. I like when a man gets a quad or, you know, gets a five-man kill feed real quick. That shit's impressive when, because, you know, it does take a little bit of skill to actually quickscope. So it might not be cool for you guys to watch, but, you know, apparently it's successful because it's one of the most, you know, watched things on YouTube is watching people snipe. So I love seeing things like that. But then again, there's other things like this, things that I see from, uh, you know, what, what's the clan called? FaZe. FaZe. I think they're a joke. I'm not trying to be mean. And, you know, people 360 in, doing it in, you know, Search and Destroy, jumping off of buildings, that shit's all luck. Dude, it's it's not even, it's not cool to watch to me. And understand, this is my opinion. If you guys feel otherwise, I mean, apparently there's a lot of people that do like their shit because they watch it. But honestly, you know, I love the fact that the editors go through what they do and they put out great content. And uh, I just don't like the clips. I think Call of Duty, you know, montages are going downhill as more and more people are putting up luck shots and 360s and, you know, all these weird shit. I mean, it's not like skillful it just really isn't in my mind it's not cool to watch it's unrealistic people 360 spinning and it's just it's just annoying if anything so i think that's kind of gone downhill and then battlefield has been kind of iffy not a lot of people like battlefield 3 montages but you know hopefully we'll see how those turn out hopefully you guys enjoy them but that's just what i feel about montages i i know i know i'm obviously not going to be you know favorited with that not everybody's going to agree with me but they're cool to watch because of the editing and everything like that and i wish the editors got more more support for what they got. These guys have been working all mine. I had the first clips up in the first couple of days of Battlefield 3 release, and they are just now finishing them up. So they've had them for a couple weeks, and that just shows the time and dedication these guys get into it. And then they don't even get the recognition that they deserve or subscribers or views or anything like that. So, you know, there's a lot of things behind the scenes that you guys do not see on Montage. So when you see a Montage come out, it's great. So, you know, that's what you guys see. So... Hopefully when it comes out, you know, you guys will really, really enjoy them and hopefully you can support them and, and, you know, get it out there, share it around, like them, favorite them. really helps out the guys that put all the effort and time into making these because they're not made overnight. They take weeks, if not months, to prepare. So, you know, hopefully these turn out real well. I wanted to know what you guys think about them. You know, the whole Call of Duty thing, you know, how people do the 360 things. Do you think that's entertaining to watch or what it is? Because the whole thought came to me. I was introduced to uh, FaZe and a couple other groups um 
due to the fact that my little brother, you know, he, he comes over occasionally. I see him a, every few months or so. And uh, he comes over and he brought his PS3, hooked, his, hooked it up right next to me at the TV, and his name was FaZe Pwnstar for Hire. And I was like, are you fucking kidding me? And then I asked what was FaZe, and he had to show me. And then and then I'm watching him play for like an hour, and all he's doing is trying to 360 knife throw, no scopes and stuff like that. And I'm like, is that what we're teaching the youth? Is this why these guys are, all these kids are constantly trying to play like this? Is because they're seeing other people play like that. And that's not fun. That's, that's pretty much putting a, a man down. If a guy's doing shit like that in a gameplay then that's one less guy that could be helping the team out or actually benefiting and getting kills. Quickscoping's one thing. You could be great at it. You, you trained. You could be just as good as an assault rifle guy. So, you know, that's where I stand with it. I'm sorry this has gone a little bit overboard, but, you know, I wanted to know what you guys thought about montages and, you know, sniping. So put that down in the comments below, guys. Let me know what you think. Peace out.